Good evening, and welcome to the public information meeting for the State Road 406 Garden Street from Farrell Avenue to Washington Avenue resurfacing project in Brevard County. Financial project ID number 432399-1-52-01. The project manager on this project for the Florida Department of Transportation, District 5, is Sarah Van Gundy. This is an informational meeting to share with you the plans for a resurfacing project here in Brevard County. Our purpose tonight is to keep the local citizens informed of what is planned for their community, as well as receive any input you might have and to answer questions. Proposed improvements include the milling and resurfacing of the existing pavement, the addition of bicycle lanes, and updated pedestrian features. This project is associated with project number 436187-3, the Coast to Coast Trail east of Max Brewer Bridge to Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge, and number 437343-1, the resurfacing of State Road 406 from Max Brewer Bridge to Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge. The projects are being designed separately, but will be constructed at the same time. Public participation at this meeting is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Should you wish to express any concerns regarding FDOT compliance with Title VI, please contact either of the people shown here or you may use one of the forms available in English, Spanish, and Creole at the registration table. In order to extend the life of the existing pavement, FDOT is designing this resurfacing project on the segment of Garden Street between Farrell Avenue and Washington Avenue, as shown on this location map. As mentioned, this is a design project with proposed improvements including the milling and resurfacing of the pavement, providing bicycle accommodations in both directions by reducing lane widths through the use of pavement markings, and updating pedestrian ramps and signal features to comply with the Americans with Disabilities Act. All proposed improvements will take place within the existing right-of-way. There are a total of four different typical sections for this corridor. The first section is from the beginning of the project to Dixie Avenue. This shows the section from Dixie Avenue up to the Florida East Coast Railroad tracks, then picking up again east of the railroad crossing and going to Hopkins Avenue. This section shows the area of the Florida East Coast Railroad Crossing. The last typical section is for the segment from Hopkins Avenue to the end of the project at Washington Avenue. Also included as part of the project design are improvements to pedestrian features, which will bring them into compliance with the Americans with Disabilities Act of 1990 new curb ramps at the intersections, the addition of detectable warning surfaces, and the pedestrian crossing signals will be updated. The design is currently underway and will be complete in the spring of 2018. We anticipate construction to begin in the fall of 2018 and be complete by the spring of 2019. Construction cost is estimated to be $1.6 million. The Department of Transportation values your opinion. Please give us your comments by filling out a comment card found at the registration table and either dropping it in the comment box or returning it by mail to the address on the card. 
You can also give us your input by emailing the project manager at sarah.vangundy at dot.state.fl.us or in the Ask a Question link for the project number 432399-1 under Future Projects on the CFL Roads website. If you have any questions or would like more information about the State Road 406 Garden Street resurfacing project, please contact Ms. Sarah Van Gundy at the address or email shown on this slide, or you may call her at 386-943-5551. You can also keep up to date with this project, as well as others in the area, by checking the CFL Roads website. From the CFL Roads homepage, click on Future Project, Brevard County. Scroll down the page and click Next. Click on 432399-1 Garden Street, State Road 406. We appreciate you taking the time to attend this meeting, and we look forward to hearing your comments on this project.